We're now ready to start relating equations in two variables to lines in a coordinate plane. And we create that relationship through the notion of the graph of an equation. The graph of an equation is the figure in the coordinate plane which shows all of the solutions of the equation. I'm going to just draw a graph as an example, and in upcoming videos we'll talk about how we actually get that graph. This line is the graph of the equation x plus y equals 4. What does that mean? That means that every point on the line is a solution of the equation. So if I pick this point, this is the point x is 1, y is 3. If I plug that in, 1 plus 3 does in fact equal 4. I could also pick this point. This is the point x is negative 1, y is 5. Negative 1 plus 5 also equals 4. There's no rule that I have to pick integer points either. If I pick, say, this point, right, this looks like 3 and 2 thirds, and then the y coordinate. looks like one-third. So this will be the point three and two-thirds, one-third, three and two-thirds, plus one-third. Right, that's going to be three and three-thirds, three and another one. That's also four. Every single point on the line, both the integer ordered pairs and the points in between, is a solution to the equation. And that's the claim that we're making if we say that we have the graph of an equation on our hands. Sometimes we'll reference the graph of an equation when we don't even know what the equation is. For example, the purple line is the graph of an equation, though I'm not going to tell you what equation, in two variables. What is y when x is negative 3? Looking at this graph, I see, so here's where x is negative 3. Here is the point on the line whose x-coordinate is negative 3. and we see that its y-coordinate is positive 3. So because the point negative 3, positive 3 is on the graph, that ordered pair is a solution of the equation. What does that mean? When x is negative 3, y is positive 3. Let's do the same thing with another point. What is x? when y is 1. So here's 1 on the y-axis. This horizontal line is y equals 1. So this is the point on the line where y equals 1. Hmm. It looks like this represents splitting the unit into three equal parts and taking two of them. It looks like this is probably negative one and two thirds. All right, so we see the point negative one and two thirds 
comma 1 on the graph. So when y equals 1, x equals negative 1 and 2 thirds. And that's approximate because I just kind of eyeballed those thirds. I can't be absolutely sure. But that's a pretty good estimate looking at the graph. That looks like it's pretty close to being negative 1 and 2 thirds.